island is in St. Simons Island, Georgia. Uh, this is the Sea Island Resort. There's the seaside course and the plantation course. The RSM Classic is held here every year and they tore down the plantation course immediately after the tournament last year and they've been rebuilding it for the last year and it literally, literally just opened up today. Davis Love and Mark Love redesigned. They grew up on this golf course. It was a solid golf course before. Walter Travis, nine holes, and then Dick Wilson added nine holes uh, in the 60s. Uh, Reese Jones redid it in the uh, late 80s, and uh, really it was a great golf course for a long time, but it just kind of needed to be spruced up. And while we were doing that, we decided to switch a few things around and create a little bit different strategy and a little bit different look. We walked the course with them back in February and they told us some of the ideas and they sounded amazing. And I was really curious to see how they came to fruition. And that's gonna bring us to our next question. What'd you think of the course? Absolutely loved it. We took uh, things that existed across the property or historically here at Sea Island, like uh, sleepers and some of the bunkers. Used to be a hole on the old Seaside 9 that had that element in it. We already had some bulkhead. We felt like we needed some more and places to kind of get some more width and some fairways and uh, create a little bit different look. And then some really cool, funky greens. Couldn't have been a better resort course. I mean, it's really wide. I mean, you could, it's really difficult to miss some of these fairways. The greens are big, but the slopes are severe. The contours are what defines the whole golf course. Tremendous squared off greens. All, almost all the greens are completely squared off, similar to a Rainer course. We use influences like uh, Country Club of Charleston, Yeamans Hall, um, sort of old Seth Rayner stuff. Places that we really love that are in this kind of, you know, flattish low country, but that's kind of the way I would try to describe it. One thing I especially loved about it was the number of risk reward holes. I think there's about three or four somewhat drivable par fours, including the 10th, which we're seeing right here. Uh, the back tee for this one is actually gonna be on the putting green for the golf tournament. If you don't have fun going out here making a ton of birdies, I don't, I don't know what you're, what you're out here for. The seaside is definitely a tougher course. But honestly, if I had to split 10 rounds between the seaside and the plantation, I think I'd go six plantation, four seaside. Number four, what was your favorite hole? It's gonna be tough. The third, the Redan, I mean, it's just like a picture perfect Redan hole. That was way up there. When somebody sees the third green, it's a it's a big old strong Redan uh, green in, in par three. Um, and you know, we were working on it, working on it, working on it. And Davis is like, that right side's not high enough. We, we hadn't gotten it high enough. And the guy said, here, you take the dozer and push it till you get it where you like it. So um, he pushed and pushed and got the front end nice and high where he liked it. And then we built the rest of the golf hole. And it, that I think that's a cool story. And, uh, and, uh, and it turned out to be a really neat green. But I also love the 10th. I mean, risk reward, a little drivable three. It's only 274 today, but that water comes right up into the green. Sure enough, I went right into the water today. Number five, what did you shoot? I had 73 today. Um, it's 37 on the way out. Made three birdies on the back, and then I, I was even par, playing the last. Wanted a birdie the last, and hooked it right in the water on 18. Made bogey. So one over 73. Hit plenty of greens, but just couldn't make any pots. <laughs> Number six, what you remember about this course? It was just the playability of it. I mean, it was it was. There's not a single style of golfer that I think would not enjoy. You know, having a ton of birdie opportunities and it, it, it makes it sound like it's easy, but it wasn't easy. Our focus a lot of times is the greens complexes and you might have some width in that fairway, but you might want to be on one side or the other or challenge a little bit of water on one side where it feels pretty open. But to get to a certain pin, you might need to put it on that side of the fairway. So a little more strategic, but room to play, uh, I think off the tee for the most part. I played with a guy from Indiana, Jim, and his two daughters who play on their high school team. And none of us could wipe the smile off our face the entire time we were playing. <laughs> you know, it's a big responsibility, but uh, it also um, is rewarding to know that we've um, created something that's gonna really uh, help the resort and, and uh, people are gonna have fun with.